Welcome to the Buntingford Classic. Pontiac GTO. Some crazy drag car. With a big bonnet bulge. And a can of noz. The kind of thing that you would see on the Fast and Furious. We're attending the event as a guest of Joseph Floyd. So, as you can see, he's doing his shambolic shuffle down there. So check out his channel, Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. A Ford Pop with, um, yeah, I think we'll call that a V8. I'm gonna have to apologize for sounds. You'll hear V8 burbles, you'll hear Yamaha fizzies. And yes, I will get things wrong. But that's with the territory, especially around an event like this. To be honest, it feels like Back to the Future 1 when Marty goes back in time, especially this end of the show. It's just full of American classics. Chevy trucks. Okay, there's a stag here, but apart from that, the rest of them are American. <laughs> Yes, a Buick with New York plates. So this is a 1938 McLaughlin Buick Special. I'm going to have to read most of the labels on these because I'm not that up on American muscle. I know a bit. Riviera. Beautiful body lines. With a Ford Pop van as well. Beautiful car. Big comfy chairs. And yes, I'm calling them chairs. Because they're pretty mad. And a cluster on this as well. It's got a rather small steering wheel, to be honest. Paint is, yeah, pretty damn good. I've got an early Mustang here as well. 60s, I think. Thank you for the thumbs up. Yeah, the Buick Riviera was just such a, what is that? It's an iconic design. The flow of the rear window and everything. It just shows you that cars back then were just built with, it didn't matter about replication if they wanted something to look cool they just put it in <laughs> so it's a seven and a half liter v8 as well I mean, that's crazy in itself another mustang there as well and look at the chevy impala And Joseph and I were discussing that before and we think it's got to be on air ride. Because talk about slammed. That's it, you think Dorothy's a big car. And as far as German cars, yeah, she kind of is. But not when you compare it to an American like this. Just look at the cluster. Cool pack in the middle, it looks like something out of Fallout of the game. Into your JDM, well, R35 GTR. <laughs> oh, well, it's part of a festival and show, isn't it? Got to enjoy it. No, fantastic driver's car. So, if you're down here, Come and enter this, and you can win a track day in an R35. <laughs> Thank you. So yes, Night Rider. Yes, okay, it's a later one, but nevertheless, it is kit. It's like a Ford pickup behind that as well. 
customization on some of these vehicles is kind of out there. Now, back in the day, it was all about funny cars and Ford Pops, and you can't get much more radical than this, can you? Supercharged V8. Cartoony. <gasps> Plymouth pickup this time. It's amazing. No matter where you go in the country, you always see pickups, whether it's Fords, Plymouths, even GMC ones. Ford Thunderbird. <laughs> Look at that interior. Just need goldfish in your shoes. Beautiful, I love that. It's the combination of chrome and that premium metal and the red. It's just, it's elegant, isn't it? Yeah, you can tell it's loved, but I think it needs a bit of a paint restore, but it doesn't detract from that design. The flowing rear wings and a massive chrome bumpers. White wall tires as well. Chevy Bel Air. Yeah, V8 supercharged. Drag car by the looks of it, with the front wheels compared to the rear wheels. 1950s, I'd say. Oh my word. I don't think you got that from standard. Look at the shifter as well, the throw on it. Oh, I could spend days at this event, I tell you. So it's a 57. Such a good vibe here, everybody's just chatting about cars. Mustang GT350. Oh, lovely. It's starting to rain. That will not rain on our parade, though. See what I did there? Oh, my word. Six by nines in the back as well. Yeah, see, every one of these cars has had some serious modification to their engines. Ford. Chopped Ford. Oh, it's got a roof chop. Oh, yes. Speaking of military vehicles, there's a Willys Jeep at the far end as well. If you want more information, check out Joseph Lloyd's shambolic shuffle. He's just ahead of me covering the cars too. James Coleman, eat your heart out. Look at this Mark IV Cortina. And this is a 2.3 Sport. There's only two of these actually in the country. But it's, it's exemplary. Everything from the headlamps down to the bulkhead, the way the paint is. Ford Motograph battery as well. Vinyl roof, don't you just love it? Yeah, that kind of speaks volumes, doesn't it? I think you'll highly approve of this, James. Austin A40. Yeah. W120, 1960. So Mercedes Benz.
And I think this is a 180. We also have sold the 190 as well. Beautiful. Oh, see, you look at this car and then you compare it to something like Dorothy. It's amazing how the design language has changed. I think the only one thing that has remained the same is the style of the grill. It's more pronounced on this, but it's still chunky, chromed out, and this is actually incorporated into the grill like Dorothy, whereas the post facelift is separate and on the bonnet. Corvette. Now I think this is a similar model to the one that was on Conair with the number plate as kicker. It definitely looks similar. That's where my knowledge ends. Let's have a quick look inside. So yeah, convertible with a hard top. Very nice. XK Defender Possibly one of the last ones actually by looking at the headlamps look like they're LEDs They're always going to stand out aren't they? Thanks for the thumbs up and sharing this video by the way Yeah, it's Thames van <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. So simplistic inside. How are you doing? E type. And this is the thing about bunting for classic. You find a Willys Jeep and then you'll find an R5 Turbo. Yeah. Corvette. ZR1 maybe? Mm -hmm. No, C6. Apologies. Renault 5 GT Turbo on Ronal Turbos. A favorite of Mark II Golf owners, those wheels. He's even got the custom system and he's got flush tail on it as well. And it's been very well done, no cracking. I had a flush tail in the Golf and it was horrendous to maintain. Alpine R Series 12 inch sub and a V12 amp as well. I think this is modified as well by the looks of it. Snap off, probably Sparco wheel. Interesting interior. Like a copper color. Under the bonnet. Yeesh, full on Samco set by the looks of it. Yep, Samco Sport pipes. So 1.4 turbocharged. I'd say at least a stage one modification. Purely and simply because of the ram air filter there and the intercooler, which has been integrated very nicely into the front valance. No, John, that is certainly not beige. Copper, yes. I will find some beiges. Also twin lamps as well. Failed to find the plate. Ah, there it is in the windscreen. Hmm. Can't remember those starting out with an engine like that. Via Anglia, okay. It's amazing the engines that they put in these cars. Nova convertible. And as you can see, it started off life as a saloon. Now, uh, let's have a look. Okay, it's a Peter Hutchinson evolved car. So on Christmas Day, he had the idea to create one and he built it from a saloon. A 
Baboon or rabbit. That could be an SR interior. I can't actually remember what they look like. I'm sure they had checked. The styling. Ooh, Renault 5. And look at this. That could well be a beige leather interior. Joseph will be pleased. And the fact that it's fully leather. And this is actually a Renault 5 Monaco. I love the wheels on this as well. Clem G. Yeah, the B, or the midget. It's just one of those love cars, isn't it? And you just, any country road in the UK in summer, you'll see one. Nova kit car. I think Joseph was telling me before that this, or something similar to this, was what featured in that rather freak Kubrick film, A Clockwork Orange. Triumph Herald. Beautiful condition as well. Cars are to be enjoyed. Ignore the look. Do not touch signs. If you want to get in, have a photo behind the wheel, just ask. Ah, that's nice. This is a 1200. Very nice. Humber Scepter. Very proud owner. Late Mini Cooper, likely 1.3 injection. And here's the cars that we came in. Joseph brought us today in the Rover 45. So the two litre V6. And these are the cars that we came with. So two ZSs and two 45 V6s. All pretty exemplary, to be honest. Some aftermarket modifications as well. Strut brace, battery covers. Given some shielding there. The core plugs. All very, very nice. Variety of engines from 2.8s to 1.8s. Because that's what always staggered me about this, the fact that Joseph has a V6 with a 2.0-litre and we have a 4-cylinder with a 2.3. You would assume this would be under way less strain. Saying that, Dorothy is at 215,000 miles. But yeah, beautiful cars. And this is Joseph's car and this is the one we came in. 80 Cobras. Well, replicas, but still, Cobras nevertheless. And yes, Le Mans 66 behind, so Carol Shelby. <laughs> Irony. I think the most modern car here today, Puma ST. I need to get behind the wheel just to see what it's like, because I've driven the classic Puma and I thought it was a damn good car. I especially like the advert as well. But Steve McQueen in any advert is just unbelievable. The racy cobra. I need my mum to bring up the camera. That's a big engine. Now look at these. Oh. Yeah, trims from Vandenplar. Through to... I think, well, actually, they might all be Vandenplas. So the Princess 1300. <laughs> and this one is Wolseley. All in very, very nice condition.
No. Well, there's a genuine AC Cobra down here. Rover P6. And Joseph and I were discussing this. And we think it's been restored. Because just look at the paintwork. So this is a TC. 2.2. Oh, very nice. It's rather nice when vehicles just start plodding along in the background. TVRs. So, two Chimeras and a Griffith. It's a very local to me, Blackpool. And TVR comes from the name Trevor. Thank you for joining me. If you're wondering where I am, at Buntingford Classic. And Joseph Lloyd is ahead of me doing his shambolic shuffle. You can see him dead centre there. 1275 GT Minis. Two of them. Of a Triumph Herald. So GT6, Mark III. And believe it or not, I think that is a six-cylinder. R107. Little SL. Likelihood V8. So the same era as Dorothy as well. We'll look at the back of these. 380 SL, that one. The GTC. MGC, MGGT. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Some restoration at points. It's amazing how many I saw of these at the Hub Nut Social. So, a Citroen 2 CV. 2CV6 Special. Speciale. Lotus Elise, this is an R. I think it's second generation. Oh, Maserati as well. <laughs> and this is a V8. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there because we're at 23 minutes already. I will come back momentarily with part two. Thank you for joining me.